Measuring at four foot ten without his hair, he ain't. At nine feet, we. Wow, nine feet, that's tall, and it's more than enough man to go around, ladies. Then again, Hiei has proven on numerous occasions that kick-ass things come in short packages, too. I have absolutely no idea who's gonna win this one, people, but I can state with certainty that it's gonna be exciting. Not a bad weapon you've got there, Bui. But with all due respect, I must say I still prefer my own. is as broad as your axe. Could you at least try to hit me next time? You are consistent. Consistently foolish if you believe this axe will have any more impact than the last. But that's amazing! He ain't not only stopped the blade with his bare hands, he then incinerated it to boot! I warned you that was a foolish maneuver. But you refused to listen, much to your disadvantage and to my boredom. And that is not forgivable. <laughs> Sorry to bore you. I'll remove my armor. Did you hear that? We spoke for the first time in this tournament. His timbering voice so richly deep that my two little cat ears are tingling. In fact, my whole body's got shivers. You should know two things, he ate the swordsman. I was saving this for someone else. And this is the highest compliment I give. Hmm, I am honored. Really, I am. But are you sure you're strong enough to take a direct hit from me without any armor? I'll handle it. Most fighters wear armor to protect themselves from their opponent. I'm the opposite. I actually... 
actually wear this armor to protect my opponent from myself. You see, my powers are so great I can't control them on my own. Pick up on this guy's energy! I call this battle aura. I'd like to see you try and top it. And so would I. But I doubt I'll have to try. Takes a lot more than that to bang you up. Here comes a lot more. Once your own doom has been unraveled, I assure you, there's no turning back. <laughs> You're the next sacrifice to the dragon of the darkness flame. Ah! 